uh, in this video we will learn about the economic profit and accounting profit with an example okay so first we will derive the formula for accounting profit and economic profit okay so first of all uh, you know that uh, the total revenue okay total revenue as i have told you a number of times is simply equal to price into quantity sold okay this is our total revenue okay what's total cost total cost is equal to the fixed cost that a firm uses plus the variable cost that changes with the output if output is zero so variable cost will be zero if output increases variable of cost increases okay also we can write a uh, total cost is equal to uh, explicit cost explicit cost uh, plus implicit cost implicit cost okay so the total cost for a firm has two uh, uh, two components that's explicit cost and implicit cost okay by explicit cost what do we mean we mean uh, explicit cost is a cost which is actually incurred uh, by a firm during production okay the cost which actually incurs during the production let us say we have the uh, employees okay we have employees we pay them wages okay so there is transfer of payment okay in reality so we say this is the explicit cost okay we buy raw material okay raw material for that we make a payment okay so this will be also the component of uh, the explicit cost okay so any cost uh, which is actually incurred by the firm during production and where the money uh, directly changes the handles we call that explicit cost any cost uh, let us say we are paying the wages to the employees okay we are using the utilities uh, like water uh, electricity telephone so these will be the uh, explicit costs okay we explicitly pay for them this is meant by the explicit cost by implicit cost what we mean uh, basically implicit cost is a cost uh, that does not directly incur but are implied uh, in nature which does not involve a cash payment okay in case of implicit cost these are the costs okay uh, by implicit cost we mean implicit costs are uh, that one uh, that arise from using an asset okay rather than renting it out so basically we can also say this implicit cost uh, is a non-monetary uh, opportunity cost associated with the owner's time and the resource uh, uh, resources owned by a firm okay let us say uh, a firm has its own store okay so he is using this store for uh, the production of goods okay so uh, since he is not paying anything uh, to this store because he himself uh, owns that one okay so we will say that uh, this uh, the rent of this uh, store will be the implicit cost though if this owner had uh, rented out another uh, store okay at that time he would have paid the rent but since he is himself uh, uh, owning a store he is not paying the rent to himself we say this will uh, the rent of this uh, uh, store will be implicit cost here okay this will be the implicit cost or the time let us say this person is uh, operating this store uh, by himself okay so uh, uh, let us say if he was operating any uh, anywhere else okay so he was operating at any other place okay so here uh, there he would have earned some uh, money okay so that would have been the explicit cost if he is working uh, outside okay of his own store so that is the explicit cost but since he is uh, working here in his own store so the salary that he would have got uh, outside will be uh, computed as the uh, 
implicit cost okay so simple thing is uh, implicit cost is a non-monetary opportunity cost associated with owners time and the resources owned by the firm whatever he owns okay the cost of that very will be the implicit cost and in the implicit cost uh, so there is no transfer of money okay so money does not change its hands okay so but uh, what we mean by then uh, accounting profit so let me write here accounting profit is simply equal to total revenue minus explicit cost okay explicit cost so when we subtract only explicit cost from the total revenue we get the accounting profit okay so by explicit cost we mean uh, the cost which in reality occur uh, to a firm during production okay and by economic profit economic profit it is equal to total revenue minus explicit explicit plus implicit cost okay cost now let's understand uh, this with an example okay so we have an example an owner of a store uh, reported following financials for the last year okay so this these very uh, financials he recorded if the owner closed the store he would be working at home depot earning uh, eighty thousand dollars a year and be able to rent the store's property for fifty thousand uh, dollars a year okay so the uh, he was uh, the question wants to say that if the owner uh, closes his uh, depot and rents the property and a uh, workers uh, he works at a home uh, depot okay then he would be earning fifty thousand and eighty thousand dollars okay so we are being given here revenue is a uh, one Uh, this is uh, 1 million is the revenue wages paid is uh, $300,000 utilities is $1,000 insurance is $20,000 purchase of raw material is um, $500,000 we have to calculate uh, economic profit and accounting profit okay so what will be our accounting profit so I have written here accounting profit is equal to accounting profit is equal to total revenue minus explicit cost okay so here you can see what is total revenue uh, 1 million dollars okay minus what is the explicit cost here so uh, that very cost which actually incurs okay where the money changes its uh, hands that means he pays wages to the employees so this is our uh, this is implicit cost utilities water electricity and other stuff so this will be also the implicit cost that is one ten thousand dollars insurance paid is one is ten is hundred thousand ten thousand purchase of raw material which occurs okay so we have five hundred thousand dollars okay so when we subtract here uh, so we have three thousand three hundred thousand five hundred thousand is eight hundred thousand this is uh eight hundred thousand let, let me write it here hundred thousand minus so past like eight hundred thousand eight hundred thousand then we have twenty thousand we have eight hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty thousand okay so we have eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars when we subtract so let me write it here one is ten is hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million one is ten is hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand then we have million actually so this is one million to this we subtract one is ten is hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand so we have zero 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 three eight so it will be zero 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 dhanitra 
نون ایٹھ اکھ اوکے آئی ایم ناٹ شور اباؤٹ دس کلکولیشن سو سمپل تھنگ از ٹوٹل ریونیو مائنس ایکسپلسٹ کاسٹ کیم آؤٹ بی ون ہنڈریڈ سیونٹی تھاؤزنڈ ڈالرس اوکے سو دس ول بی ونس ٹینز ہنڈریڈ تھاؤزنڈ ٹین تھاؤزنڈ ہنڈریڈ تھاؤزنڈ اوکے سو ونس ٹینز ہنڈریڈ تھاؤزنڈ ٹین تھاؤزنڈ ہنڈریڈ تھاؤزنڈ دیٹ مینز ون ہنڈریڈ سیونٹی تھاؤزنڈ ڈالرس ول بی دا اکنامک سوری اکاؤنٹنگ پرافٹ وٹ ول بی دا اکنامک پرافٹ اکنامی پرافٹ از اکول ٹو ٹوٹل ریونیو اوکے ٹوٹل ریونیو مائنس ایکسپلسٹ ایکسپلسٹ پلس امپلسٹ کاسٹ اوکے کاسٹ سم ٹائمز وی کال دس امپلسٹ کاسٹ از اپرچونٹی کالس کاسٹ آلسو اوکے سو ٹوٹل ریونیو ایز وی ہیو سین دیٹ از ون ملین minus what is explicit cost these are the explicit costs uh, where uh, the owner is actually paying uh, to the factors here okay so there is the um, you know uh, what i can say that uh, here the cash payment involves directly okay so here uh, this is our explicit cost and it came out to be 830 thousand dollars plus what is the implicit cost okay he is saying so if if the owner just um, closes the store okay he can go and work any where else where he would be uh, earning 80000 dollars okay also he is saying okay if i close the store i could also rent my property uh, for 50000 dollars okay so this is just an assumption uh, agar you hota to kya hota theek hai so these two will be uh, computed as the implicit cost okay so uh, he is just imagining that okay if i close then i could have earned 80000 dollars and i could have rented my property for 50000 dollars okay so there is no direct uh, transfer of cash okay so he just imagining in his head that is our opportunity cost that means 80000 dollars plus 50000 dollars over now the ka bas tru that means 1 130000 dollars okay so let me write it here we have 80000 dollars which he could have okay earned if he would have uh, closed his own store on stands 100000 10000 that's 80000 dollars then we have 50000 dollars which he could have earned if he rented out his store 10000 okay so this will come out to be let me uh, see here so we have one stands 100000 100000 million and uh, 830 then we have 130 so 130 830 this is zero to the ratio of the gain now so this comes out to be 960000 dollars okay one stands 100000 10000 100000 can we subtract uh 1 1000 i am not sure about the calculation i am really sorry for this so we have 960 i guess it would be like 40000 dollars okay one is 10 100000 one is 10 100000 10000 okay so there will be economic profit of 40000 dollars and accounting profit of One hundred seventy thousand dollars. Okay, so in economic profit, uh, we include both explicit cost and implicit cost. But in economic pro accounting profit, uh, we only uh, use or include explicit cost. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.